Washington. The Assembly will hear an address by His Excellency Mohamed Ould Sheikh El Ghazawini, President of the Republic of Mauritania. I request protocol to escort His Excellency. On behalf of the General Assembly, I have the honor to welcome to the United Nations His Excellency Mohamed Ould Sheikh El Ghazouani, President of the Republic of Mauritania, and to invite him to address the Assembly. In the name of God, the merciful, the compassionate, Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, heads of state and government, Excellencies, Mr. United Nations Secretary General, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, I would at the outset like to offer to you my warmest congratulations to Your Excellency, Professor Tijani Mohamed Bande, the permanent representative of Nigeria to the United Nations, for acceding to the presidency of the 74th session of the United Nations General Assembly. And I would like to wish you every success in this new role. I must also warmly thank and express my sincere gratitude to Ms. Maria Fernanda Espinosa Garces. for her remarkable conduct of the previous session and for the admirable professionalism that she demonstrated. Allow me also to pay tribute to the sustained and ongoing efforts of the United Nations Secretary General, Mr. Antonio Gutierrez, for the reform and management of our organization so that it serves international peace and security. Mr. President, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, each session of the General Assembly is, for member states, an opportunity to go beyond their approaches to the short-term changes or characteristics of their own situation to debate within this concert of nations the common destiny of humanity so as to establish guiding principles and adopt plans and strategies which can guarantee for our planet and our peoples a prosperous future. In this respect, the 70th session of the General Assembly in 2015 launched the 2030 Sustainable Development Agenda, an agenda which contains a number of interlinked goals which aim to overcome major global challenges concerning the environment, climate, healthcare and education, as well as peace, stability and development. This is with a view to a better, more sustainable future for all of humanity. On the basis of our commitment to these goals in the Islamic Republic of Mauritania, we have built our development strategy around sustainable development and we have succeeded in achieving tangible results. To this end, we have focused our efforts on renewable energies, both solar and wind energy. Thus, we have achieved 40% of clean energy out of the total energy mix. We have tirelessly worked and are tirelessly working to increase this percentage because we are aware of the importance of clean energy and of its positive impact on the environment and its contribution to reducing pollution. 
what's more, with other states of the Sahel, we have launched the um, Great Green Wall Initiative to counter the negative impacts of desertification and climate change on our environment and our agricultural resources in order to fill in the gaps in our production systems and to also provide a counterweight to the economic and social harm caused by these negative impacts. We have also made progress, considerable progress, in combating desertification, in rehabilitating large surface areas so that they can be used once again. On top of this, we are also making efforts within the Permanent Standing Committee for the fight against drought in the Sahel. And we have worked in this area to rationalize the use of our maritime resources and have been able to replenish our magnificent biological diversity. We are currently working with 10 states of the Sahel within the Sahara Energy Initiative, which was launched by the African Development Bank and which aims to make the Sahel one of the greatest regions for the production of solar energy to allow more than 29 million people to have access to clean energy in the short term. Like other countries in the Sahel that benefit from this initiative, we attach great importance to the environment and to development and we attach great importance to this initiative which will most certainly have a very positive impact on the environment and development in our region. Mr. President, the Islamic Republic of Mauritania is determinedly continuing its sustained efforts to bolster compulsory education and to realize gender equality in this area. We are doing this by building a school of the Republic, if you will, where future generations will be schooled in the principles of liberty, equality, tolerance and openness to others based on our cultural and civilizational constants. We also constantly are working to improve the quality of education in all of its components, scientific and vocational, in line with the needs of our national economy to accompany globalization as well. We want to make sure that we give all of our citizens basic services, in particular for those who are living in a precarious situation. And in Mauritania, we have managed to improve health coverage, universal health coverage, in a considerable fashion by strengthening health infrastructure with hospitals and equipped medical centres and also thanks to investment in human resources to train high-level medical personnel. On the subject of the fight against poverty and the accelerated development strategy and the strategy for well-being, shared well-being, we have focused on solutions to social inequalities and disparities by combating insecurity and precarity to improve living conditions of marginalized groups and to promote social solidarity. We are currently working to launch a series of ambitious projects that target these groups of the population. to improve purchasing power, boost living conditions, provide greater access to core services in electricity, drinking water, education and health care. We have also made vast efforts to accelerate the pace of economic growth, to improve the business climate as well, by supporting partnership between the public and private sector and by looking to develop transform and, um, processing industries to 
rid our economy of being exclusively dependent on the export of commodities. We have also focused on the training of young people through an approach which aims to allow young people to access the jobs market and in so doing to contribute to the development of the national economy. Mr President, it would be in vain to target sustainable development if we were not to consolidate the rule of law, good governance, safeguard human rights, promote democracy and both individual and collective freedoms. To that end, our country has chosen transparency as a comprehensive approach to the management of public affairs. We have resolutely fought against all forms of corruption and bribery, and we have established legal mechanisms that can eradicate these scourges. At the same time, we have worked to promote the rule of law, to consolidate public freedoms, including freedom of the press, and we have also looked to develop democracy and to guarantee the flexibility, uh, flexibility and transparency in the work of public institutions. This general approach in the Islamic Republic of Mauritania recently led to the organization of transparent presidential elections in which the outgoing president did not participate in accordance with the provisions of the Constitution, which does not authorize more than two consecutive terms for the same president. The handover of power took place in a flexible and calm way between the two presidents who were democratically elected. Mr. President, aware of the fact that security and development are inextricably linked, the Islamic Republic of Mauritania has ensured that it has put in place an effective strategy to combat terrorism and also to combat all forms of extremism by focusing on a holistic approach that takes into account the intellectual dimensions, economic, social and security dimensions of the problem. My country, hand in hand with brother countries in the Sahel and through its participation in United Nations peacekeeping operations has contributed to restoring peace and security in the Sahel region and in the African continent in general. We are committed to the disassociation policy when it comes to conflicts and disassociating conflicts from good neighbourly relations. Here Mauritania has provided a haven of safety and security for more than 50,000 refugees from the Brother Republic of Mali. We welcome them while we await the restoration of peace in their villages and their towns in the north of Mali. In spite of the considerable pressure that this has meant for our population and our economy. In this respect, we would like to reiterate our tireless commitment to the rights of the Palestinian people, their right to dignity and sovereignty in the context of an independent viable state with East Jerusalem as its capital in accordance with the Arab Peace Initiative and international relevant international resolutions. We denounce also Israeli violations of human rights in Palestine and in the other occupied Palestinian territories. In Libya, we support international efforts which aim to establish peace in this brother country and to ensure its territorial integrity and sovereignty. Turning to the situation in the Syrian Arab Republic, we reiterate the need to work to find a political settlement which would preserve the unity of this brother Arab country, its independence, the dignity of its people and its right to live in peace and security. And we welcome the consensus-based Syrian commission the Constitutional Committee under the United Nations auspices. On Yemen, we reiterate our support for legality and we call for an approach based 
on a peaceful settlement to be adopted in accordance with Arab initiatives and relevant international resolutions. We at the same time condemn the terrorist attacks that target the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. These attacks aim to undermine its national security. We welcome the political agreement concluded in the Brother Republic of Sudan and we call for the, this country's name to be removed from the list of state sponsors of terrorism. We also support the government of Somalia in its efforts to restore peace and security and we reiterate our firm commitment to the objectives of sustainable development to allow everybody to live a decent life. Thank you. Thank His Excellency, the President of the Islamic Republic of Mauritania, for the statement just made. May I request representatives to remain seated while we greet the Head of State.